Now, in the first installment from our World Tour workout series, we talked about base training. Now, we're getting into race season, it's time to add some intensity. So this video is gonna be about threshold intervals and threshold workouts. So first, the basics. What is lactate threshold? Again, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a coach. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm not, but basically, when you're, when you're riding a bike, you're riding hard, the, your body's always producing lactic acid, and lactic acid can only buffer at a certain rate. So your body's creating it in your muscles and then wiping it out. When you get to a certain level, suddenly your body can't buffer as fast as it's being produced. So that's your threshold. That's kind of below that, you can ride all day. Above that, your, your, your clock is ticking. So basically, it's your 60 minute max effort. That's your lactate threshold. Um, now why it's important is, VO2 max is a big predictor of ability, but that's not really very trainable. Lactate threshold is something that you can really work on and improve over time. Now, sorry to the heart rate folks, mostly we're gonna be talking about power in this video. When you get into the nitty gritty of the lactate threshold stuff, heart rate within you know a five beat swing based on recovery, it, it moves around too much. So this is sort of a, a power meter kind of workout style. So what is your lactate threshold? How do you know where to train? There's lots of ways to sort of find out. There's, you could do like a fancy lab test where you pay someone money and they sit you on a stationary bike and they poke you with needles every few minutes and they actually test the blood as it comes out and they measure the, the lactic acid. I wouldn't do that. I had to do that a few times, it's horrible. Basically, if you just do like a 20 minute max test and then you kind of take off five to 10%. So for me, my, my 20 minutes is in the low 400s. So I'll put my, my lactate threshold is around 385 watts. So you can just do that yourself. Just take, go do a 20 minute all out climb and then and then knock off five, 10%, and that's a good baseline. Because it's so hard to train above LT, the way to improve it is just to go right below. So, so just sub threshold and we just do a few workouts. There's really no shortcuts other than spending a lot of time at that intensity. So if you have your races on a weekend, uh, or your group rides, whatever your goals are, this might be a good workout for like a Wednesday. Find your sub threshold zone. First week, do three by 10 minutes. And then for recovery between each effort, so find a hill, and then basically if it takes you 10 minutes to go up, you coast back down, that's a lot faster, that's five minutes. You wanna do about half the recovery time as the length of the interval. So if it's a 10 minute interval, you do five minutes recovery, and just repeat that. So up, down, up, down. So three by 10 one week, next week maybe do two by 15, and then build up to two by 20. So two by 20 is kind of the, once you can get into that workout, that's that'll, show you some good improvements. Uh, the World Tour guys, we would do three by 20. God, that was rough. Three by 20, so you end up with an hour of, of sub-threshold in, in one workout. But two by 20 is probably enough for you. People always ask me about cadence. What cadence should you ride at? I'm trying to think about cadence is, is like if you're sitting there and you're saying, inhale, exhale. Like it's just, you shouldn't think about it and kind of what happens naturally is what should happen. For workouts like this, I'll sort of end up with a higher cadence at the beginning, so sort of wear out your lungs first, and then towards the end, it'll get lower. That's when you're sort of tearing up your muscles the last couple minutes of the interval. That's just me. I think that's pretty specific, and, and honestly, like I wouldn't have a target cadence in your workout. All right, so that's it for the threshold workouts. They're real simple. Don't need to overcomplicate them. You just gotta go do it. So do those, you did your base, you're doing your threshold, and next time we'll talk about like the, the real intervals, the, the VO2 workouts. And we're gonna set it up where someone's gonna follow me in a car, and I'll do the workout while I talk about it, and you can just do it with me on your, on your trainer or whatever you got going on. Check the, the links down below. We've got links to my coach. He has these cool training plans and he can sort of supplement. If you want more specifics and, and a good build of when to do each workout, that'll be there for you.